So, kids like this. They love it. Maybe I should get some for Jennifer. All I have is fiber cereal and she hates it. How long are you watching her? My sister gets back from Makgadakati in three weeks. That's so nice of you. Yeah, it is nice of me. Speaking of, what are the kids up to? Well, they're probably playing their new favorite game, scare your sibling to death. So, Nate's trying to scare his sister, huh? Not exactly. Mommy, mommy! Honey, what's wrong? There's a monster. <laughs> Tara, what have I told you about scaring your brother? We were just playing. Why don't you scare Jennifer? I couldn't find her. You couldn't? Jennifer? <laughs> Jennifer? <laughs> Jennifer, are you here? Did I get you? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. You cannot outdo the master. Did you scare her? No. What's up with you guys popping out like monsters? They're cool. <laughs> Mom, can we go? A haunted house? It's not even October. It's year round, please. It sounds really scary. We promised to work extra hard on our homework. I don't know. I've heard about this. Donnie Haskins bought it about a month ago. Donnie's running a haunted house? From what I heard, ever since his wife left him, he's turned to, you know, glug glug. Maybe he just wanted to get his mind on something else. It would be nice to support him. I know he's had a rough couple of months. Why not? Did you hear that, girls? We're going! Yay! A haunted house. What am I getting myself into? I don't know what I was thinking. Year-round haunted house. Nobody wants this. People only want to get scared at Halloween. Well, maybe if we branched out, included a magic show or old movies? No, what we need is publicity. Something that'll make people want to get scared. <coughs> I can't believe you almost left me behind. Well, I thought you might want to stay home with Nate. That's what babysitters are for. You know I've been to every haunted house in the state. I don't know what that says about you, but it sure does say something. Hey, guys, thanks for coming. Hey, Donnie, how's business? Great, great. Guess you guys have a killer lunch crowd. No friends of mine are gonna stand in line. Come on, come on. Excuse me, excuse me, let us through. They know the owner. <laughs> Lots of perks. <laughs> Sabrina, these are friends of mine. Let's give them a $10 discount. Yes, Mr. Haskins, that's $40. There you go. Thank you. Have a great time. And remember not to touch the actors. Let's go. Look, Terry, it's a zombie. Where'd he go? He'll come back. I want to see the zombie. He'll come back. <laughs> Which one does that remind you of? My current boyfriend. Where's Tara? Oh, I bet she went back to find a zombie. I'll get her. Stay here. Mommy! I found a zombie! 
Honey, that's great, but don't wander off by yourself, okay? Okay. <laughs> Found her. <gasps> Let's go find some more zombies. Okay. <laughs> What's up? I want to talk to Donnie. I think something might be wrong. That was awesome. Yeah. Sandra. Will you get the kids some snacks? Sure, come on, girls. I think they sell bat blood or something nasty Ew. like that. Ew. So what'd you see? It was one of the scenes. The guy being stabbed, it just didn't look right. The doctor looked upset, like he'd really hurt the guy. Are you sure? Well, I mean, the stabbing looked fake, but it was dark. I don't know. Hey, guys, how was it? You don't want your money back, do you? It was freaking awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying that. Uh, but Maddie thinks she might have seen something. What? In the doctor's room, I think there might be a problem. You know, that's where Larry and Amos work. You know, I haven't spoken to them tonight. Let's go take a look. Hey, Sabrina, make sure nobody goes through the house while we're in here. But Mr. Haskins, no one is even out here. All right, we won't be bothered now. Yeah, yeah, see, Maddie, nobody. All's good. Hey, Molly, have you seen Larry or Amos? Uh, not since their last break. Great. They're always leaving unexpectedly. None of my employees take this job seriously. Is that real? I don't think so, but I, I don't want to touch it. That must be something new they're trying. Most of the people do this job for a lark, anyway. They just like to hang out in dark, spooky places. Not exactly great work ethics. This is everybody's favorite room. If they're not here, I might as well shut down for the night. No, Donnie, we'll help you out. Uh, we'll take their places. Yeah? Yeah. You're only open for another hour or two, right? Oh, thanks, Maddie. You don't know what this means to me. Hey, look, come on, let me show you backstage. Why exactly are we volunteering? Something's going on here, and I want to know what. Besides, it'll be fun. <laughs> come on. So you don't mind taking Tara? Not at all. You figure out what's going bump in the night and I'll get these kids to bed. Thanks. Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. Be good for Sandra. I will. Bye, Mrs. Monroe. Bye, Jennifer. Um, excuse me. Sabrina, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know if Amos and Larry left already? No, they're still here. How can you be so sure? Well, everyone has to sign in and out with me or they don't get paid for the night. Not like it's much, but it's better than nada. But what if it was an emergency? Well, I guess they might bolt, but if it was an emergency, wouldn't they let someone know? Good point. Thank you for your help. Hey, hey, here are the costumes. Doctor, patient. Um... Yeah, I'll play the doctor. Uh, Molly, these are the Monroe. Show them around. I'm going to go check on sales. So, uh, what made you guys decide to fill in? We're friends of Donnie's. Cool. Uh, I'd show you around, but really there's not much to see. Do a lot of people work here? About 25. Well, I guess I could show you your entrance. Might as well earn my 250 an hour. Uh, this is Derek, our effects coordinator. Hey. Hey, I thought you were on zombie detail. Their heads keep rolling off, especially the one with the tie. I just fixed it. His head isn't going anywhere. Okay. Who are they? Um, they're filling in for Larry and Amos. What happened to them? They took off. That sounds about right. Molly, can you come help me fix lights in the clown room? I need to get more scare for the audience. Yeah, sure. Um, basically, you want to go into room three, and you can go anywhere except for that hallway. Yeah, that one's forbidden. All right. Come on. What are you doing? Well, aren't you a little curious? It's forbidden. No. I'll be right back.
If you can't tell anyone, do you understand? Or I'll kill you! It's okay, Larry. Larry, right? What happened in there? Did he really get hurt? Just... just stay away. Maddie? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just I tripped over some lumber. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh, look who's excited now. I thought you didn't want to play doctor. No, I do. Okay, I really do. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I know you do. Come on. You completely failed. Me? You're the one who kept going and going like we were at a psycho beach party picnic. It's not me bringing the pain, it's you taking the pain. You were way over the top. What else was I supposed to do? It's more of a nuance, you know? The knife has evil power that gives you evil pain. That doesn't make any sense. Craig, just jump out at people or something. Where are you going? You're not going to go investigate, are you? For your information, I have to use the restroom. Well, hurry back. It's not the same without the victim. Hey, wait a minute. They're coming. Hey, guys. You fixed the clown room? The front looks awesome. Half the people run out without even waiting for someone to jump out at them. They're probably fleeing to get their money back. Hey, <laughs> shut it. I put on a good show. Hey, I'm just curious. The, the guy playing the psycho doctor, is that Larry? Yeah, why? Are he and Amos professional actors? No, just two friends from college who wanted to work together. Larry only played the doctor because he got off on killing his friend every night. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, they fought all the time, mostly over girls. Hey, it's not like there are many girls interested in guys like that. I mean, they had to fight over who they could get. You know, they're, they're both a little, little off. Didn't stop Molly. Oh, she'd love to know you're spreading that gossip again. Well, it's true, isn't it? Why are you asking anyway? Oh, my husband and I were just arguing about how to best prepare for the role. I'm on a little break, but he's crazy about it. I, I don't blame him. I mean, we're, we're all a little crazy for working here. I get better tips as a bartender, but I like scare people too much. Well, it gives me plenty of time to read my coursework. With, with all the screaming in the background. What? It's, it's good white noise. What are you studying to be? A psychiatrist. Yeah. See? See, she's crazy. She's trying to figure out how not to be. <laughs> Did you see that? No, what? Larry and Amos playing in the hallways again instead of working. Excuse me. Hey, guys, God, stop messing around. You want to check it out? Sure. Were Amos and Larry acting strange today? Mm, no more than usual. Well, I think Amos was especially excited about something, and that was freaking Larry out. But I mean, that's any day of the week for those two. They fight more than 12 year olds. Forget it must have been a shadow or something. I swear this place is haunted. Okay, Derek. <laughs> Where does this hallway go? Um, the bathrooms. Great, I was looking for those. Why do we work here again? It's because we're crazy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
you to stay away. I killed him. I killed Amos. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. I had to. What? I had to kill him. I had to. It was the only way. I can't believe this. Why would Larry kill Amos? Well, Sabrina said she saw them fighting earlier, but... She did? Uh, I guess. They're always arguing about something. What am I gonna do? Well... And now we have to shut down until the cops give us an okay. This is terrible. Well, think of the publicity you'll get. This is exactly the kind of publicity I don't need. I'm gonna go check on the staff, see how they're doing. And you say he was holding this when you came in? Yeah, that's right. Well, I gotta say, for once, looks like an open and shut case. It seems sad to me. Larry seems pretty shook up. I mean, I keep saying that he didn't want to do it, but he doesn't know why. I'm guessing it was probably because of a girl. Crime of passion. I'm not sure if he's the one who did it. What do you mean? There's something about it that seems sort of staged. Now come on, Maddie, you're an eyewitness for crying out loud. Maddie, he confessed. I called it in. The kid's got a record. He was convicted for at least a dozen crimes as a juvenile. That doesn't add up to murder. No, but it sure increases the odds. Don't you think? I know, it just doesn't feel right. Okay, um, pesky feelings aside, can I count on you to go down to the station and make a statement? Yes. Good. And I'm satisfied. Well, no doubt about it. Single stab wound to the chest. He probably died within minutes. Wait, the chest? Are you sure? Uh, yeah, why? The stomach, too? Nope, just chest. Rob, he didn't do it. What? He didn't do it. When Larry stabbed Amos, he stabbed him in the stomach. You're reaching here. No, I'm telling you, somebody else is involved. Who? I don't know. He must have come into the room afterwards. And just convinced Larry to confess. I don't know. Let's talk to him. Oh, no, no, no. No one's talking to him until he's calmed down. Rob, I don't think I witnessed anything except for maybe a ruse. I don't think so. I think you had it right the first time. Are you saying you don't want to look into this? No, what I'm saying is it was dark. Maybe the guy aimed a little bit higher than you originally thought. No, something's wrong. The knife is dripping with blood, Maddie. Rob, I think you need to start by interviewing the staff. You better do as she says, Detective Campbell. You don't want mommy mad at you. You see that? Yes. I have a reputation on the force for waiting for your approval before I can book. I can't have that. Rob, there's a murder on the line. Don't make this about you. You're a better cop than that. Maddie, you're making this way too complicated. Maybe it is complicated. Larry didn't make any attempt at all to escape or even hide the body. How do you explain that? They got in a fight. Things went bad, and he stabbed him. That's it. All I need from you is to make the statement. Then I can take the kid down to the psych ward where he belongs. Wow. That's it, Maddie. Just help me out here. Can you do that? So what happened? <laughs> Larry confessed. I can't believe it. I mean, why would Larry do that? Amos was his friend. Did you know Larry well? Not really, no. I mean, we went on a couple of dates, but he didn't really open up much. Where did you meet? Here? No, um, at the Church of Xerox. I'm sorry, what? What is that? Um, it's a club we all belong to. We, uh, goof off. It's, uh, yeah, dress up in robes, chant nonsense, search for UFOs, you know, for fun. And do you drink blood? <laughs> of course not. We just dye fruit juice red. Oh. Okay. Well, if you guys need me, I'll be back on planet Earth. 
Never mind him. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I mean, most people don't understand our way of life. So does the church have a <clears throat> regular meeting place? Uh, yeah, we um, meet at the dungeon downtown. Like a rave? Yeah, sort of. It's a shoddy bar. The owner lets them rent out the room twice a week. So you've been there? Unfortunately, yes. In fact, I used to date the bartender at the dungeon, a guy named Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Are you okay, Molly? Yeah, I mean, I knew Larry was crazy, but I didn't think he would actually... Actually what? Did he say something to you tonight? You know, I, I, I gotta go. No doubt about it. There's more to this than meets the eye. I couldn't stop thinking about that case all night. I just know that Larry's innocent. But the question is, who framed him? Don't let him find me! Or me! Who? The ghost monster! They eat us! Oh, who did it disturb the ghost monster? <laughs> Where'd they go? I think they went upstairs. Aren't you hot in there? Yeah, but you know, how long will I have to play with our kids by trying to scare them? I gotta cherish every moment. Pretty soon it's back to ponies and princesses. I understand. Mm. Time to go eat the kids! <laughs> Chew gently! Rob, what are you doing here? You were right. How do you mean? Isn't that evidence? Not anymore. You know, if a housewife can do my job better than I can, I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> Rob. It turns out this would be a pretty difficult murder weapon. Mm -hmm. All the blood in the knife was fake. Every last drop of it. Is that the knife Larry was holding? Yeah. So did he recant his confession? No. He still claims he did it. What are you gonna do now? Had to let him go. So I've got to interview other suspects. I just thought I'd come down here and tell you first. Well, thanks for telling me, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> And then 63 divided by 9 will be 7 because multiplication and division are inverse operations. Well, you'll learn that next year. I love you too, sweetie. Bye. Guess a little murder is good publicity. Careful, that cost me 800 bucks. Derek? Hey, Maddie. Hey, Donnie's inside taking inventory. Thanks. What's going on? Help and supervise the new monsters. Donnie finally caved in and let me buy new ones. Hey, check it out. Slime. <laughs> Lovely. Reminds me of my son's runny nose. That's what we're going for. Where did Donnie get the money? Oh, advanced ticket sales. Really? People were paying in droves to see the new haunted murder house. That's terrible. Yeah, that's business. Hey, 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 don't drop that. I don't know what you're expecting to find. Thanks for letting me do this. Oh, sure. I don't want one of my staff members being a crazy killer. Not, not during off hours, anyway. I've been thinking about how the murder could have happened. Did you bring that knife? Yep. One fake knife at your service. Thanks. You really think a fake knife is the murder weapon? It's just a theory, but the killer could have been pretending to play a joke. He could have approached Amos and stabbed him before he even, even realized what was happening. Follow that. He would have had to hide the knife somewhere. Do you think the murder weapon could be hidden somewhere in this room? Well, it's the best place to start. Is there another entrance to this room? Well, there is one more. It's hidden. 
Derek, what are you doing here? I was hoping to talk to you about the reopening. Well, not now. Let's focus on this, okay? What's back there? Let me show you. We were originally thinking about hiding someone back here, you know, to double the shock. But it was cut, budgetary reasons. It would have been cool. All right, let's talk about this when we think about the reopening, okay? Did everyone know about this? Well, sure, it wasn't a secret or anything. This is it, how the killer got in and out. And if my hunch is right, how he watched Larry and Amos before committing the crime. The dungeon bar downtown. I haven't felt this out of place since I covered the sport mascot convention. Uh, hi, I'm looking for Charlemagne. That's me, what would you like? Oh, uh, cranberry and soda. How about a gory Mary? Oh, uh, pass. Vampire elixir? Uh, just give me a virgin something. The virgin sacrifice, got it. So where do I know you from? Oh, I'm a friend of Sabrina's. Ah, that explains why you look like a sorority sister. Don't know why I went out with her. Guess I'm just attracted to all the weird girls. Hmm. Um, do you know Larry and Amos? Couple of freaks. Always arguing about who's better. Better? Yeah, you know, at darts, at school, in bed. Probably the worst of the whole bunch. The bunch? Yeah, you know, the ones involved in the church, dressing up, acting bizarre. I don't know, you'd think with so much good television, they'd have healthier hobbies. You're talking about the Church of Xerox? Yeah, they rent the room upstairs from us. Bunch of nerds. Probably should ask for more than 50 bucks. What exactly do they do? Exactly? I don't know, howl at the moon about mother crystals or something. Do you know who's in charge? High Priestess. That would be her right there. She runs the church? She runs everything. Sorry, lady. What's wrong? Look, how do I put this? Two apple pie. I've got to get in there. I have a feeling it's the key to this mystery. Maddie, I'm thrilled you're trying a new look, but really, this? I have to blend in. Hey, I love pancake makeup as much as the next girl, but... I... Well, I could just do it. Easy. I was online all afternoon, and I know what's in. Let's get evil. <laughs> How is it? You are a creature of the night. Well, this is going up on my fridge. It may even be my Christmas card. Really shock my aunt. <laughs> okay, now for the hair. The hair? <laughs> And then, think evil thoughts. Uh, I don't care if my kids get into a good college. No, no, eviler. I sure do like to hurt stuff. Nice, nice fluffy stuff. Um, maybe some other time. Success. In the name of the seventh Nikon who resides on Dimension X, I, Sister Redesnu, who has been in communication with Saba and Ordog, 
Tonight, we will seal the pact with Brother Parnitz. Brother Parnitz, please step forward to receive the blessings of the crystal. The immortal has cleansed the world. The pact shall at last be sealed. Stop! Stop! Brother Tristan, what are you doing here? Let me seal the pact. I have spilled blood. I deserve to be called a warrior! Brother Tristan, you know we do not condone acts of violence. You stabbed a man in the stomach. Now that's serious. What we do here is for fun. No. It's more than that. It's my core being. It's my calling! Brother Tristan, you will calm down. Listen to my words and hear my voice. You must be calm. I want... I want to talk with Sister Sybil. Very well. Sister Sybil, please step forward. Sabrina's here? That's an interesting twist. Brother Tristan, you must listen to Sister Radesnu. I want... I want to know. Will you be with me now? Now that I have spilled blood? Larry. No! It's Brother Tristan! Brother Tristan! <coughs> we have a visitor. What's your name? Oh, I'm Sister Rapunzel Elda. No. I recognize you. What are you doing here? This is a private ceremony! Okay. Me versus an entire church. I can get out of this. That's <laughs> uh, a funny story. Okay, okay, that's enough. Rob? Hey, Maddie. I couldn't get you for murder. I guess I'll have to get you for attempted assault of a mom, huh? Hey, this is a private ceremony. You gonna stop me? That's what I thought. Let's go. Uh, Rob, wait. I can't say I'm surprised to see you at this party. Was this a sting? Public function? I just thought I'd put on my best robes to attend. Let me talk to him. I don't know. Just for a minute? Okay. Only for a minute. And just because I owe you one. Thank you. I'll meet you at one of the booths. I want to ask Sabrina something. Okay. Come on, Larry. Let's get a refresher on your rights. Move. Sabrina, I thought you didn't like this club. Well, I'm not obsessed with it, but doesn't mean I don't think it's cool. Are you the reason that Larry wants to be convicted of murder? He wanted to date, but I didn't want to. So he thought that if he killed someone, it would prove his love for me. <laughs> How messed up is that? Anyway, it doesn't matter now. Sabrina. What, it's true, isn't it? Larry? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Maddie. What do you want to talk to him about? I want to talk to him about what happened. I don't want to talk about it. Are you sure? You don't want to talk about Amos? Amos was a bad guy. He was in my way. He needed to be killed. Wasn't he also your friend? Yes. You didn't really want him dead, did you? No. Tell me what happened. I was mad. And he was going out with Molly, but Sabrina wouldn't even look at me. And when I stabbed him... And he started to bleed. You weren't planning to hurt him, were you? I was so scared. I love to go get help. But then I thought, maybe now I can have Sabrina. Maybe now she'd think I'm powerful, too. So you went back to the body? Yes. How long were you gone? I don't know, a minute, maybe two. But when I got there, Amos was gone. And later you found him in the bathrooms? Yeah. 
I guess he must have stumbled over to it and collapsed there. You know, I wish, I wish none of this had happened. Rob, I need to talk to you. Wait right here, okay? Poor kid, he's really messed up. Make sure he gets help, will you? I'll see to it. Did you get anything out of that besides pity? I think I know who killed Amos. What? From that? It confirmed my suspicions. But listen, I think I'm gonna need your help to prove it. I don't know, Maddie. I'm, I've already bent the rules a lot on this one. Rob, please. Rob, wait, listen to me. Maddie, I just can't believe that's true. If we go back to the haunted house, we'll find what we need. I can't do that. I know we'll find proof. Maddie, I've got to follow the book on the rest of this one. I'm taking him down to the station. Fine, I'll do it myself. Trouble in paradise? Looks like it. Sorry, Donnie. knew it. I know what you're thinking, that you don't want to do this. What do you know about my wants? Drop it. You won't get away with this. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm doing pretty well. Still, I'm impressed. How did you know to check the zombie head? It was something you said to Molly. Hey, aren't you on zombie detail? Their heads keep rolling off, especially the one with the tie. It took me 20 minutes, but I fixed the head. It's not going anywhere. Fixing the zombie heads was supposed to be your alibi, but you were really watching Larry and Amos when you took one of the heads with you. I had to hide the knife somewhere. You must have convinced Amos it'd be a fun prank to play on Larry, to pretend like he was really hurt. Once Larry ran out, you came into the room. It would have been easy to catch Amos off guard. Still, you knew you wouldn't be alone for long. So you hit the knife in the zombie head. That's all true. But how'd you figure it was me in the first place? It was something you said during the ceremony. You stabbed a man in the stomach. Now that's serious. What we do here is for fun. Why would you say he'd been stabbed in the stomach? Everyone knew that he was killed by being stabbed in the chest. Only someone who'd witnessed your little prank would have known about that. Namely, you. Uh, that's very clever. It's too bad you weren't clever enough to keep me from overhearing you at the club. Otherwise, you might have made it through the night. Actually, she was that clever. <laughs> Drop it! Now, I don't think so. Normally, I prefer a more primitive weapon. A broadsword would have been a nice choice here. And now? Now I'm gonna be leaving. Don't do this, Derek. No, I will shoot her if you try to stop me. I drop it. Put it down. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna get out of here. No. Molly. You did this for me, right? Because I'm your queen? I did. 
You didn't want Amos, you wanted me. I, I knew it, I, I knew. You knew Larry would take the blame for Amos's death. Yes, I, yes, I had to get rid of all my rivals because I am your true disciple. If you are my disciple, if you are my love, you will drop the gun. Uh. I cannot love someone who would shed innocent blood. No, 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 I have to. Listen to I... me, Brother Parnett. Listen to my voice. I command you. Uh. I can't. No. It's over. Molly. <laughs> Take him away. Uh. Come with me. Molly, thank you. Yeah. I think I'll be dissolving the church now. I'm tired of all these games. You okay, Maddie? Yeah. Did you have to break my lock? <laughs> I, sorry about that. I'll pay for a new one. You're a true friend, Maddie. I'll send you a receipt. Wow. I can't believe any of it. Wait, who am I kidding? Of course I can. What a story. It's sad, but kind of creepy. The woman had so much power over the men in that church. Amos loved Molly, so Derek killed him for it, and Larry pretended to be the killer just to impress Sabrina. Girls do love the bad boys. I mean, I know exactly how Molly feels. Oh, really? What? I've had men at my beck and call. Granted, mostly towboys, but eh, still. Mommy, could you put these away for me? Sure. Tired of being a monster? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Jennifer and I want to be princesses now. Oh, that's much better. We're having a princess party and only princesses can come. Tara, come on. We haven't applied blush yet. Okay, come on, Daddy. Not one word. <laughs> Why speak when you can take pictures? Let me help you get the proper angle. <laughs> mm -hmm. 